Like most people, it was through the novel Wide Song SOC when I first came across the work of Jean Rees. And it was the first novel that she published for 27 years. She had really fallen out of the public view, so this novel made her almost an overnight sensation uh, at a very late age. But one of the things that reading Wide Song SOC did for me was to make me want to go back to look at the earlier novels, which I think speak more to me and more to my particular concerned with particular kinds of outsiderness. The passion for the underdog, I think that's a theme that runs throughout Reese's work. The kind of people that Reese writes about were not the kind of people that were deemed to be the stuff of literary fiction. Female protagonists on the margins of society who are displaced and dispossessed. Characters at emotional and psychological extremes. They're often thought of as very autobiographical texts and she does use events from her own life. Born to a Welsh father and a white Creole mother in Dominica, she was sent to school in Cambridge at the age of 17. <laughs> she lived in England for a long time but hated England. Uh, she drifted from job to job and from place to place. She was a chorus girl, she was an artist model. So in all those kinds of ways she was an outsider and all those kinds of experiences feed into the novels as well. But the stories are told with a very scrupulous, meticulous style. I think one of the great things about Rhys is that she maintains an order and a structure and a shape. What she inherited from other writers, I think, is the same kind of modernist techniques that one might see in Wolf and one might see in Mansfield. Her style is elliptical, fragmented, discontinuous, very poetic, he uses a lot of repetition. But also, of course, her most famous novel inherits its raw material from Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. The piece I'm going to read is from Good Morning Midnight. The character of Sasha is constantly on the move, from rented room to rented room. Uh, it also shows Brice's use of modernist techniques, the use of repetition, the cycle of the character's experiences. Always ends back down at the bottom. A room, a nice room, a beautiful room, a beautiful room with bath, a very beautiful room with bath, a bedroom and sitting room with bath, up to the dizzy heights of the suite, Two bedrooms, sitting room, bath and vestibule. The small bedroom is in case you don't feel like me or in case you meet somebody you like better and come in late. A beautiful room with bath, a room with bath, a nice room, a room. I think she's now still seen as an important writer from a feminist perspective, from a post-colonial perspective. I think that her work can be read in the wider sense as well, in relating to anyone who is alienated from, excluded from mainstream society. Anyone who is in that position can get something from reading a Jean Rhys novel, and I think that's what appeals to me about them. If I had to sum up her achievements in five words, it would be this phrase, a voice for the voiceless. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.